Hello everyone, now that we've got... Okay, so let's see about keyframing our Blender object to match up with what Lonnie is doing. I'm going to open up after selecting the object, select the motion, and you can see it here. I'm going to start off by, of course, scaling it down because it needs to be basically zero so that we can make it appear as he moves his hands apart. The other way to move it uh, easily is just with these numbers. Sometimes when it's small like that, it can be a little tricky to grab and move. But his hands are right there. And actually, let's find the place where he starts to open his hands right about there. So I'm going to put it right there. So let me go ahead and move my Blender object over. It doesn't need to actually start until he opens his hands. And I'm going to move it down so it's right there and scale it down to zero because it's time to set some keyframes. So I'm going to keyframe position, scale, and maybe even rotation as a matter of course just in case he moves his hands in different ways. I'm now going to get a close-up look at him. So I'm going to go to my 50% view so that I can really see what his hands are doing. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit this way so I can move forward a little at a time. So now that he's opening his hands up, let's scale that object up a little bit and maybe move it right between his hands. So just the first set of keyframes there. Forward a little more, and I can see that it needs to get larger. Not too big just yet. And he's bringing his hands up. So now it's right in between his two hands there. Forward a little more and he lets it grow. So this is it's going to grow fairly quickly like that. Let's scroll up a little bit and maybe adjust it so it's right between his hands. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to set another keyframe for rotation back just a little bit. Keyframe. And I can force one right now. So it's been zero this whole time. But now as I go forward to this next one, I'm going to give it a little bit of a spin in this direction because one hand is a little higher than the other. And bring it up. Go forward a little more and his hands go down. So I'm going to move it back down. Maybe over a little bit. And it can even shrink a little bit because his hands got a little closer together. Maybe. Let's see. Let's watch that so far. So what we've got is him opening his hands. And there's the object spinning around. Oh, there we go. There's that rotation I was thinking about. So right here, his hands are in one spot. So I'm going to keyframe rotation. I seem to be further over. And then he brings that hand up. So let's go ahead and rotate it so that it's really nice between his hands. Maybe a little bit of motion as well. It is possible to grab it, just not from that center. And his hands came together. So let's go ahead and scale it down just a little bit. Go forward a little more just to get something going so it's doing some movement while his hands are moving. Ah, there it got big again. So let me uh, scale it up a little more. Move it over. So the more accurately you do this, the better it's going to look in the long run. But you don't have to go to all this trouble if the green screen video doesn't involve so much. So right there now, it should be getting much bigger. I'm going to go ahead and scale it up a good bit. Keep it right underneath his face there. And then boom, that should be getting full screen. So let's go back to fit. And we're going to move it over a little bit and increase the scale. Go forward a little bit more. And it can get even bigger. And let me move it out of the way so we can see Lonnie doing his magic trick there. Let's see what that looks like. Ah. 
and then it spins around and Lonnie disappears. So now we just need to trim this up and we'll just shorten everything to where Lonnie disappears and that'll be the end of the video. We can export this quickly and take a look at what that looks like. I haven't saved my project in forever. That's not a good idea. Could have crashed on me at any time. But let's go ahead and do a file export media. We're going to make sure it's on H264, matching the source, but we need a good name. So let's put it here in the Blender Animation Project folder with 170307. Lonnie moves the blender machine, or something like that. Lonnie's magic trip, get the beach. Something that tells me what this movie's got, because I'll be making several. Um, now we need the bit rate. A little hard to see on my low resolution screen, but scroll down here. If you just want it to be as good as possible, you can go CBR. Bring this up to 100 and you will have a very high quality movie, although 170, 87 megabytes is a little large. Uh, if we're, we're going to combine these with lots of people, then that's a good idea. So let me just go ahead and queue this up. A Adobe Media Encoder was already running. This may take a little longer for you. You press play and when it's done rendering, I'll add it to the end of this tutorial. Mm -hmm.